shaved scalp, ashen skin, slight frame, a shocking physical transformation as Mark Salling entered federal court to face his day of reckoning. Signing a federal plea deal that will keep the once adored actor Hello, from spending most of his adult life behind bars for possession of tens of thousands of images of child porn. But we agreed to a deal in which Mr. Salling will serve at least four and up to seven years in federal prison. But this is well within the heartland of the typical case that we prosecute. Crime Watch Daily first broke the story when the LAPD's Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, along with Homeland Security, busted down Salling's Los Angeles front door in a major sting operation. What they discovered was a massive collection of illicit child porn, including 25,000 still images of child pornography, 600 videos of child pornography, 29,000 images of child erotica. Salling even had a manual on his computer that specifically instructs adult men how to abuse little girls. According to these federal documents, one video depicts a little girl, approximately three to five years old. She is naked. Who knows how long it took Mark Salling to accumulate his huge stash of child porn, meticulously organized by name of child and age group, some as young as two. But one thing we do know, it all came crashing down, say the feds, when he made one huge mistake. According to the plea agreement, the defendant showed his child pornography to an adult woman in the context of their sexual relationship. This was ultimately reported to law enforcement. Do you have reason to believe that Mr. Salling interacted with children personally? Um, the, the proposition that child pornography equals child molestation is not accurate. We have made no allegations in this case, nor have we uncovered any evidence of any contact offenses involving Mr. Salling. That's why we agreed to settle this case. But what some find troubling, Salling's fame was built on a show that appealed to younger audiences. You got more curves than the Nissan ad. Like the hit TV show Glee, where Salling played the high school bad boy Noah Puck Puckerman for six straight seasons. And according to investigators, at the time of Salling's arrest, he was working on a project which put him in direct contact with kids under 14, prompting the police to act quickly. Since his arrest for child porn, Salling was fired from the Netflix series Gods and Secrets, and his financial troubles are mounting. Salling will have to pay $50,000 in restitution to each of the child victims the federal government can track down. Some of these images involving Mr. Salling's case, there are actual victims who we've identified. Those children often suffer psychological damage and, and there's other costs associated with these offenses. Are you nervous, Mark? How are you feeling this morning? It's not Salling's first time in serious legal trouble. Reportedly, the beleaguered actor paid a $2.7 million settlement to Roxanne Gorzella. She claims Salling forced her to have unprotected sex, then assaulted her when she confronted him. Mark, what's up? You're undercover today with the hat? But there's no price that can pay for Salling's freedom. Based on the terms of the plea agreement, a judge is now considering whether Salling will spend a minimum of four or maximum of seven years in federal prison. Salling told federal judge Otis Wright he was being treated for depression. And according to one report, Salling recently tried to cut his wrists. Whether there's room for mercy in this case remains to be seen. Is this considered a mental illness in the mind of the United States government? No, it's considered a criminal offense. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.